Here is the core cause of the deepest wounds in narcissists. Hello everyone, and a warm welcome back to our channel. Today, we delve into a topic that seems to strike the deepest wound to a narcissist. You might find yourselves questioning the nature of this discussion, pondering, aren't we a bit too keen to understand what hurts a narcissist the most? Some might even label such curiosity as rather cruel or harsh, suggesting that those who seek this knowledge might not be true empaths after all, but rather, hidden narcissists in disguise, seeking insights from us for the purpose of retaliation. However, it's a fairly typical scenario for those who have suffered at the hands of a narcissist to find themselves pondering questions like, how can I ensure the narcissist suffers indefinitely? Is there a way to get back at the narcissist for all the harm they've caused? How can I influence the narcissist's actions to my advantage? Is there a method to gain control over the narcissist? Through various videos, as you've seen, I've discussed why pursuing these avenues may not align with your best interests. Nonetheless, it's completely understandable why such thoughts might cross your mind. The underlying reason for this curiosity stems from the profound hurt you've experienced. Your engagement with a narcissist likely led you through a tumultuous journey. Your emotions have been deeply scarred, potentially leading to financial ruin, strained relationships with others, job loss, deteriorating physical and mental health, and possibly the loss of property, a home, or even children. These significant negative impacts are the result of your involvement with this manipulative individual. Enduring such abuse can diminish your emotional empathy, inadvertently amplifying your own narcissistic tendencies. This, in turn, means that your desire for revenge against your abuser is both natural and understandable. Not everyone harbors such desires, but a significant number amongst you do. The idea may range from confronting the narcissist with some harsh realities to witnessing their life unravel into complete chaos. This could include seeing the narcissist's subsequent relationships fail disastrously, them facing job loss, eviction from their residence, or even becoming ostracized by society. Alternatively, it might involve you taking more direct measures to ensure the narcissist endures suffering. These feelings, while understandable, stem from emotional rather than logical thinking. If acted upon, they invite negative consequences akin to being struck by the devil's pitchfork, resulting in your own suffering. However, it's clear that many are drawn to these scenarios out of a deep-seated need for justice, where emotional thinking distorts the empathic trait of seeking fairness, driving a desire to retaliate against the narcissist. Regrettably, the internet, especially platforms like YouTube, is rife with misinformation from individuals who lack a genuine understanding of narcissism. These sources may lead you to believe that you can achieve revenge and that it will significantly impact the narcissist. However, as I have explained in my various videos, this is a misguided belief, and pursuing such a course will invariably result in loss on your part. Despite this, there exists a more constructive alternative for you. I comprehend your curiosity about what inflicts the deepest wound on a narcissist. This curiosity likely stems from your innate trait as a truth seeker, coupled with a desire for justice. Additionally, it's possible that the narcissistic traits within you, such as pride or anger, are stirred upon encountering discussions of this nature. What exactly is it that inflicts the deepest wound on a narcissist? It's not about having their misdeeds advertised on billboards across the town or being the subject of scandalous gossip at the local country club. No, the singular event that causes the most significant injury to a narcissist is when their intimate partner, who is their primary source of emotional supply, manages to break free from their grasp. Let's delve deeper into the relationship dynamics between a narcissist and their intimate partner primary source, which essentially can result in one of three outcomes. The most frequent outcome is what's known as disengagement, where the narcissist decides to end the relationship. The second most common scenario sees the relationship dragging on indefinitely until either the narcissist or their partner passes away. This option is akin to a never-ending roller coaster ride, marked by cycles of intense evaluation, brief periods of respite, temporary separations that don't lead to a final breakup, followed by reunions, and so on this cycle can continue for years, even decades. The third, and least common outcome, is when you, the intimate partner, successfully escape the relationship. 
It is this act of escaping that delivers the most severe blow to the narcissist. Why does this escape cause such a profound wound? The answer lies in two main reasons. Firstly, as the primary source, you play a crucial role in the narcissist's life. You are the main supplier of what they seek the most. This encompasses not just the emotional reactions or fuel they thrive on, but also the validation of their self-worth, their sense of superiority, and their overall identity. Essentially, you are the cornerstone of their emotional and psychological sustenance. Secondly, your role as the primary source extends beyond just providing emotional fuel. You are the most heavily controlled, the most significant contributor to their sense of self through the reflection of your admiration and dedication. You offer the most in terms of character traits that the narcissist lacks and desires to emulate or possess by association. Additionally, you supply the majority of residual benefits, these can range from social status, financial resources, a sense of normalcy and stability, to being a part of a family unit. Essentially, you are like a basket wherein the narcissist has placed most of their eggs. The act of escaping, therefore, represents not just a loss of these crucial supplies, but also a significant blow to the narcissist's control and self-image. It undermines their sense of power and superiority, exposing their vulnerabilities and limitations. This departure from the relationship signifies a break in the continuous supply of emotional fuel and other benefits the narcissist derives from their intimate partner. It challenges the very foundation upon which their narcissistic identity is built, leading to what they perceive as an intolerable level of injury. To truly grasp the intricate dynamics of how the intimate partner primary source fits into the broader context of the narcissist's fuel matrix, delving into specialized knowledge is indispensable. For those seeking a deeper understanding of the nuanced interactions and the varying degrees to which the primary source contributes to the narcissist's psychological and emotional sustenance, my comprehensive guides, pipelines, and understanding changes to the narcissist's fuel matrix offer invaluable insights. These resources meticulously detail the percentages of fuel contributions from different sources and how these elements interconnect within the narcissist's life, providing a fascinating and enlightening exploration of the subject that is crucial for anyone looking to navigate these complex relationships effectively. It is widely recognized that most narcissists fall into the categories of lesser or mid-range, which signifies that a substantial portion, approximately 70 to 90 percent, of their primary needs referred to as the prime aims, are fulfilled by the primary source. Consequently, it becomes evident why the act of escaping from such a toxic relationship inflicts a profound and devastating wound on the narcissist. This departure not only strips a significant chunk of the essential sustenance they rely on, but also plunges them into a state of turmoil and distress. The sudden cessation of this fuel supply, akin to turning off a vital pipeline, results in a dramatic plummet in the narcissist's emotional and psychological stability, from a metaphorical 100% down to a mere 10 or 30%. Although it is possible for this level to eventually recover, as I elucidate in understanding changes to the fuel matrix, it is crucial to acknowledge the immediate and severe impact of the initial escape, which inflicts the deepest wound imaginable on the narcissist. It is important to note that mere words or actions perceived as challenges by the narcissist typically generate what is known as challenge fuel, which, while impactful, does not compare to the magnitude of the wound caused by escaping the relationship. Similarly, organizing an event meant to embarrass the narcissist, such as a party that no one attends, does not equate to the profound betrayal they experience when the intimate partner primary source severs ties. The act of leaving the relationship is not just about removing a substantial portion of their prime aims, it symbolizes an act of utter betrayal and treachery in the eyes of the narcissist. You, as the primary source, have been the centerpiece of their emotional world, the bearer of their hopes and aspirations. Therefore, your decision to escape is perceived as the ultimate act of treason, a severe transgression that strikes at the very heart of their sense of control and self-worth. In exploring the intricate dynamics between a narcissist and their intimate partner primary source, it is crucial to understand the profound impact of an escape from such a relationship. This act is not merely a departure, but a significant blow to the narcissist's sense of control and self-worth. For the narcissist, particularly those of the creator or ultra categories, their ability to maintain control over their intimate partner is a testament to their power and superiority. 
The failure to keep you, the intimate partner primary source, within their grasp is a profound source of distress, magnifying the wound inflicted by your escape. The significance of the intimate partner primary source to the narcissist's fuel matrix cannot be overstated. While in the case of creator and ultra-narcissists, the intimate partner may contribute to around 50% of their fuel matrix, a substantial amount, yet not as critical as it might be for lesser or mid-range narcissists, the real sting lies not in the quantitative loss to their fuel matrix, but in the qualitative blow to their ego. The mere fact that you have managed to escape, to assert your independence from their control, challenges the narcissist's perception of their absolute authority and superiority. For these high-level narcissists, your act of leaving signifies more than just a reduction in their sources of emotional sustenance. It represents a direct challenge to their self-concept as omnipotent beings, capable of bending others to their will. The audacity you demonstrate by walking away from such a dominant figure not only undermines their control but also exposes their vulnerability, a failure on their part to prevent something they deem unacceptable whether it is the direct hit to their fuel matrix or the broader implications of their inability to prevent your escape, the act of leaving, of asserting your autonomy and severing ties with the narcissist, constitutes the deepest wound possible. This dynamic underscores the complex interplay of power, control, and vulnerability in relationships with narcissists, particularly those of the creator or ultra-designation. Their reaction to your escape reflects the profound impact it has on their psychological makeup, challenging their self-perception and exposing their limitations. Thank you for taking the time to listen and delve into this intricate topic. If you found this discussion enlightening and wish to explore more about the dynamics of narcissistic relationships, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and share this content. Your engagement helps us to spread awareness and support others who might be navigating similar challenges. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe for more insightful content on this and related topics. Your support is greatly appreciated.